Hey everybody, Ben with Classic Firearms here. Folks, today is an exciting day here at Classic Firearms. Why, you ask? Well, the reason is because we just received the remainder of our shipment of Chinese SKSs. Now, let me explain that. Earlier in this year, 2019, we made an agreement to purchase an entire exclusive lot of Chinese SKSs that had been stored in a neutral country for over 20 years, therefore timing out of the Chinese exclusions on importation. We expected to get all of those rifles on the same shipment. Something happened overseas. We received a portion of our allotment in several weeks ago, about six, seven weeks ago at this point. Those sold very, very well. That's the good news. The bad news is the remainder of our shipment somehow got separated and didn't leave overseas at the same time. Well, the remainder of that shipment has finally come in. We're gonna do an unveil here. I have four crates. These will be samples of what you will see. And we're gonna open them, unveil these, let you see them just as we're seeing them for the first time. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I have reviewed these firearms once they got stateside. I was fortunate enough to be able to go to the importer and inspect the rifles as they were putting the import stamps on them very pleased with what I saw. If anything, I think overall, this portion of the shipment is a little higher quality than the first portion of the shipment, but we will let you make up your own mind as to that. So without further ado, let's get into them. Now, there were some wood screws holding these panels together and so forth. We have taken the liberty to take those wood screws out ahead of time, but we're cutting the bands and coming into these for the first time. So you're gonna see them just like our staff will be seeing them as we unveil them here. Ryan, come on in. Let's take a look. These are Chinese Vietnam era turn-in guns, just like they came back to the arsenals after they were turned in. Folks, there's an airport, an airplane going overhead. We're close to a regional airport here. So excuse that, maybe the noise won't be too loud. But overall, I'm very satisfied with these. You can see they're packed in heavy cosmoline. These have all been function checked at the importer and I was able to be a part of that as well. So they are function tech checked to be sure that the firing pins are moving freely and that they should work at least under a dry fire scenario. But of course we haven't fired them. They are still packed in the Cosmoline and will need to be cleaned up. But overall, for surplus condition turn-in rifles, we're not going to represent them as anything they're not. You will see the digs and dings in the stocks. You will see bluing wear where there is bluing wear, but certainly very serviceable. As you saw before already, the bolt hold open devices are working properly. Crisp trigger pulls on them. We're going to turn over one more and go to the next crate. Several layers in a crate. These are divided by this heavy plastic material inside the crates. But Ryan, let's move on and take a look. I think folks have seen at least the top layer. As I said before, I did see the firearms as they were being import marked. And the consistency is very consistent. In other words, the middle row will look very similar to the top row. And the bottom row will look very similar to the middle row, etc not a big change there they were packed nicely to try to keep them in as good a condition as possible and we'll show you a few more some of the stocks are lighter some of the stocks are darker in color we are going to offer a hand select so you can get the best of the best and the early bird always gets the worm on that particular one because we have more to sort through of course that's a very nice looking rifle there a little more blue in wear maybe but the stock is in very good condition and we'll move on to crate number three we're so fortunate to have these chinese sks's are a rarity they were probably the most popular rifle import for several years during the late 80s and early 90s. And then there was an importation ban placed on China that is still in effect to this day. As I said before, for these rifles to even qualify to be imported, they must have been stored in a neutral country for 20 years. And they must also have a serial number date range 
that goes back at least 50 years, therefore meeting CNR eligibility requirements. So that's the other good thing on these. All of these are CNR eligible. If you have a CNR FFL, they can ship directly to you. Take a look at that. No, they are heavy in Cosmoline. We don't make any apologies for that. The Cosmoline is very protective of the rifle. And they've helped keep them in the condition that they are for all this time. Of course, Cosmoline clears off, uh, cleans off very easily. We've done some videos on that to show how to clean the Cosmoline off. You can find online. But what a piece of history. What a nice rifle. What an incredible find. And by the time you see this video, they will be listed on our website with pricing and ready to ship. Take a look at that. Nice, nice rifles. A number of these folks will have the milled trigger groups on them as opposed to the stamp trigger group. Not only will we, will we ah, let me say that right. Not only will we do a hand select for condition, we will also offer a hand select to ensure a milled trigger if you so desire. Now I pulled the trigger on both. Frankly, I can't tell any difference in a trigger pull on a stamp trigger and a milled trigger. But some say the milled trigger is much more quality and as such, it, it demands a higher premium. If you want a milled trigger, we can be sure that you get one. That Cosmoline was holding a little sawdust on the surface of that one, but certainly a nice looking rifle. I'm sorry, Ryan, you're trying to pan. I'm reaching all in front of you. Take a look at this one. Absolutely beautiful stock, really nice knurling. All of these, will have their spike bayonets as you can see and again all are CNR eligible 10 round semi-automatic 762 by 39 caliber safeties work all have been dry function tested again folks you will need to clean the Cosmoline but what a nice opportunity and at a great price I would encourage you to get in early Folks, before we leave you, don't forget, we are giving away a Remington TAC-14. Today is the last day to qualify for that, so we encourage you to get your entries in on that now. And if you like our videos and would like to subscribe, there's going to be a button right here to do so. An airplane's coming over. i got to cut it short. Don't miss this. We appreciate your business, and God bless.